Level 129. Survival difficulty, Class 4. Unsafe, unsecure, medium, entity count. Level 129 is 130th level of the backrooms. It was discovered on March 1st, 2021. Description. Level 129 is an infinite forest covered in snow with dark black trees. The level is extremely cold with a constant temperature of 0 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 18 degrees Celsius. The ground is covered with a seemingly bottomless blanket of icy snow. Efforts have been made to dig down to find the bottom, but nothing except snow has been found as of yet. The trees are extremely tall, towering at almost 2,000 feet. The white snow and black trees to this level is sort of black and white look to it. The level seems to be stuck in an infinite daytime, and no daylight cycle has been documented. Despite it being very bright, no sun seems to be visible. When first entering the level, you wake up in a small, round patch of snow surrounded by trees. As you venture into the level, you only find snowy forests. The level starts out highly stable, but as you travel further in it, it gets more distorted. You eventually start to see trees clipped into each other. Portions where the snow is black, and trees are white. And large hills. The level starts pretty flat, but as you go deeper into a level, it gets significantly harder to traverse the terrain of the forest. The hills begin to get extremely large and steep as you go deeper into the level. While the level gets more glitchy as you go deeper into the forest, it does not get any easier to no clip since the level isn't nearly as stable. The amount of entities also increases as you go deeper into the level, which can make doing this a lot more difficult. Occasionally, you can find abandoned outposts which suggest that small groups may have attempted to set up camp, but were likely wiped out or driven out by the blizzard events that occur in this level. These outposts typically have abandoned supplies, and you can sometimes find things like weapons, almond water, warm clothes, and other loose items. The level itself can be considered a navigational hazard, as the snowy ground appears to be infinitely deep. Because of this, Anybody in the level should be careful that the ground is not solid and it's not soft. Ground can cause a traveler to fall deep into the snow and suffocate. Blizzard events. Occasionally, events known as blizzard events occur. The level becomes nearly unsurvivable for a temporary amount of time. Blizzard events start with a warning, if you will. A large, gray cloud will loom over the skies. Sounds of thunder can be heard in the distance. Seeing this could mean you have approximately 20 minutes to seek out shelter or escape the level. After 20 minutes have passed, the clouds will fully cover the entire level, making it nearly pitch black. Snow flurries will begin to fall for 5 minutes, and the temperature of the level will drop to around negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 degrees Celsius by the end of these 5 minutes. After that, the snow will turn into ice chunks the size of baseballs that could easily crack a skull open. Wind will also begin to blow throughout the whole level at extreme speeds. The snow is so thick that it makes it impossible to see three feet in front of you. The temperature combined with the snow could cause your blood to freeze if you were in the level much longer without specifically designed heated clothing. The blizzard will continue for any time between 30 minutes to an hour before abruptly stopping. Absolute Zero Events This has never been officially documented by a group like the MEG. But, this event was documented in an audio log found in one of the abandoned outposts. The event, as follows in the log below, seems to be a sort of form of natural direct energy, where the internal body temperature of a victim immediately drops to around zero, or negative 273 degrees Celsius. Life immediately ceases, all internal body fluids and molecules freeze, and the person dies instantly. This is known from the audio log, as the person who recorded it stated that experiments were done on the body of the victim, and all internal body temperatures stood at a constant absolute zero, even after being exposed to a room with a temperature of 98 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 degrees Celsius. It is unknown how or why this happened, as it occurs seemingly at random. Log Entry 1 
We have just reached a new level. We aren't sure where we are. We were trying to explore the Redwood Forest, but one of the others just like no clips to one of the trees. We followed him to see where he went and ended up in what we thought was a different area of the forest. But we quickly realized that we aren't we weren't still in the forest after being in love for a while. Start and it's staying day for 24 hours, no visible daylight change. I'm gonna keep this log whenever something happens. Hopefully, if you're hearing this, it's from me and not someone else. End log. Entry log number two. We have been exploring for about uh, three days. The level is so cold. Thankfully, we came from Redwood and we're prepared with supplies. We're currently working on building an outpost to survive here. Thankfully, we have plenty of salt and water, which should tide us over nutritionally. They're setting up multiple heating systems to combat the cold. I'm taking a lunch break and recording this. Hopefully, we can successfully explore this new level. John just reported seeing a hound walking through the woods. We have some field explorers trying to find a way out of the level. It doesn't seem very dangerous. I'll check back in when something else happens. And log. Entry log number three. The outpost is now finished. We've got heaters and beds for all the group members. So it should be a little easier here. We'll make the walls out of the trees. I've never seen trees so black before. Some of the men were rumoring that they saw a crawler fungus growth while exploring. I hope we don't get attacked by a group of entities. We barely set this outpost up successfully. We plan to keep exploring until we find an exit. The explorers are guessing they'll find a way to escape in about two to five days maximum. I'll keep recording updates and log. Oh gosh. Screw the formalities. We have a problem. It's been about, uh, two days since we set up this house, and a lot has gone wrong. <laughs> You won't believe this, but we sent out a group of three explorers, and only one of them returned. <laughs> they they uh, found a cave infested with uh, um, uh, smilers. Yes, yes. He's getting treated right now. I think he's uh. Fuck, fuck. No, no, no. What happened to him? Why is he walking out? That explorer I was talking about. He was the only person to survive the smiler cave. Just collapsed. Someone took some body and the arm got its leaf off it. What the hell? <sighs> what the hell is going on in this place? This is log number five. I'm starting to think this level is a lot more dangerous than we were actually expected. <sighs> so that explorer we collapsed yesterday just freaking died for no reason. Why? We have no idea why. But his blood rose over instantly. His internal body temperature is stuck at absolute zero. That's right, zero Kelvin. Absolute zero. Whatever you want to call it. We have no idea what happened or how it happened. He was fine one minute ago, and then the next, he just collapsed and froze. We tried to melt his blood and expose him to a 98 degree environment. His blood won't 
belt? What level did we get into? We have some people trying to perform an autopsy. We don't... We know it's cause of death. We just don't know what caused it's cause of death. What the fuck? That seems a little contradictory, but whatever. Jeez, that's confusing. I started to get worried, and we're all going to die before we escape. Hopefully this is my last message to the world. I'll let you know if you figure something out. And vlog. <laughs> Lock six. We're starting to run the Bulma Warner. We're rationing it right now. Stay station. Stay she. Hope we're going to run soon. I don't think we're going to make it out of here alive. The explorers are too scared of the undocumented entities. Everyone is worried. We're going to get absolute zero, as they're calling it. We have no idea what happened to the person who was absolute zero. Pray to God it doesn't happen again. I think we're going to draw straws or something to go explore again. We plan to. What the hell? Oh, fucking hell, not again. Something else is happening. What's that? No, 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 no. That storm cloud. What? No, 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 I don't want to die here. Please, no. <sighs> this is probably my final log. Oh fuck! That's asthma killing me. Cloud has now covered the sky the entire level. It's dark outside now. Instead it's snowing and now huge ice chunks are falling from the sky. One of the men just got his skull cracked open from one of them. I'm gonna die. The temperature is even went colder. I'm gonna go peek outside to see what's happening. Okay, the ice stones are still falling in certain areas. Clouds have darkened the level. It's also gotten windy now. I think something bad is about now, but wait, is that snow in the distance? God. God. <sighs> okay, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. I'm going, I'm heading out. No, 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 wait, no, out. <laughs> Oh, bases, outposts, and communities. There are no known bases, outposts, or communities on this level, but the MEG is sending agents regularly to find ways to combat the lethal blizzard events. Entities. Many entities have been documented in this level that have adapted to the cold temperatures and don't seem to be affected by the blizzard events. Smilers, hounds, skin stealers, anathecas, death moths, death rats, transporters, and the crawler fungus grow in some areas. All these entities have adapted to survive the cold weather and have somehow been made immune to the blizzard events. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Finding a rare, large metal door that feels extremely cold on level 6 will lead here. No clip. There's a black tree on level 11.1. Blue doors on level 21 lead into this level. If it begins snowing in the borders of level 39, it will become possible to simply no clip here. No clipping into a tree that has its leaves covered in snow on level 47 has a chance to bring you here. Jumping into a pile of snow that randomly appears on level 115 or level 116 will bring you here. Entering a window that appears to be covered in snow in level 188 will lead here. Exits. This is risky, but finding a strange black door can lead to level 130. Rarely, small huts can be found on this level, 
while entering a hut will usually lead to level 280. The hut may also be normal, housing a hostile entity. The only safe way to exit is by finding a patch of soft black snow and jumping into it. This will lead back to level 11.1.